Hi guys, ghouls and little ghosties. I'm Lady Amy and today's podcast is about Willard Library. So opened on March 1885, the Willard Library is probably one of the most well-known libraries in the world. Located in Evansville, Indiana, the library was the dream of real estate and railroad mogul William Carpenter and was intended for the use of the people of all classes, races and sexes, free of charge, forever. The library is built in the Victorian Gothic style and was designed by James W. Reed. Externally, the most notable features include the tower with its pitched roofs, decorated with ornamental gables and grey tiles that contrast against the terracotta red brick and bright white stone. Beautiful gothic arches, arcades framing tall windows and internally the woodwork is finished in a select quarter grain oak with a grand staircase, thick sill doors and high ceilings making for an imposing yet impressive entrance. It wasn't until 1937 that the first documented report of a haunting happened at the Willard Library. A night janitor reported that in the early hours of the morning, he entered the basement to stoke the coal furnace, but was startled to see an all grey lady with grey shoes and a grey veil. The janitor stooped to pick up his torch that he had dropped in shock, but by the time he looked back up, the image had dissolved into the shadows. The janitor quit his job shortly after, too terrified to work alone and with little promise that he would not see the ghostly apparition again. Soon after, staff and visitors began to see the same spectral figure and she quickly became known as the Grey Lady. She was reportedly seen roaming between the rows and rows of bookcases, and her presence, in some cases, was followed by the heavy and overpowering scent of perfume. From various reports, the Grey Lady seems to be quite mischievous, often playing tricks on staff and visitors. Faucets would seemingly turn themselves off and on, lights would flicker, and she had been known to topple books from their bookshelves. The Grey Lady has also been seen wandering the halls with books in her arms or climbing the staircases, and one of her most particularly terrifying appearances is when she manifested in the elevator whilst the visitor riding it could only wait, watching in horror, until they reached their floor to escape. Another area of the library that has had paranormal activity is the children's library. Quite like the main part of the building, there have been reports of books falling from shelves, glimpses of shadows, and even children being upset at seeing figures in the reading area. Many pictures from webcams have caught mysterious occurrences that cannot be explained. So who is the Grey Lady? And why does she haunt the library? Many people suspect that she is Louise Carpenter, Willard Carpenter's daughter. Louise had sued the library in 1890s when her father, after his passing, had donated what she had felt was her inheritance to the library. She lost her appeal, but apparently had become very bitter and angry, never quite getting over her defeat. Although if this were true, then the Grey Lady would also be angry and vindictive towards the living and the visitors of the library. So if not Louise Carpenter, then who? In 1985, a well-known parapsychologist, Mrs Lucille Warren, paid a visit to the library to see if she could find out more about the Grey Lady. Mrs Warren saw the ghost in the children's library and gave an in-depth description of her, including her specific hairstyle, her attire and that her clothing was from the early 19th century. While the grey lady 
was too shy to speak with Mrs. Warren. Mrs. Warren sensed and saw that the Grey Lady wasn't haunting the library at all, but the field on which the library was built. She saw that the Grey Lady was staring into a pool of water, and from this information Mrs. Warren had the psychic feeling that the Grey Lady had drowned in the water canal that is still located near the library, possibly a suicide. Mrs. Warren also felt that the Grey Lady didn't quite understand that a building had been built around the spot that she was haunting, and that's why she seemed to be confused. In 1999, the library began to host a now popular webcam, which allows visitors to capture images at various locations around the building, and mid-October of the same year began to host a free annual ghost tour. The webcams have been used to help gather hundreds of pictures from visitors to help support the reports of hauntings. Activity has reportedly quietened down since 2010, with few sightings being reported, although staff and visitors say that they do still, on occasion, feel that they are being watched or catch a whiff of heavy perfume passing by. So, thank you for listening to today's podcast about the Willard Library. I've been Lady Amy. If you like today's podcast, please click and like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified of future content. And also don't forget to head on over to our Twitch channel where we stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. And we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.